and welcome to the week around it. My name is Darcy Evans with Trevor Gregg from Rosewater. How you going? Rosewater, yes, indeed you yeah. are. So Trevor, up to Division 4 finals already, so how time has, has, has it gone? It has absolutely flown, and for one of the new clubs too, Division 4 this mm. year, a um, bit of a surprise packet, I've been impressed with them, um, just falling short. I, I was I with you, I thought they were sitting second during the year, then they dropped the third, you think they're still doing okay, won a few games at the end, think okay. But wasn't to be elimination final, it was Salisbury, 18-58, defeated Edwardstown, very poor scoring, 2-9-21. Not a good day for Townies, as you said, um, in, back from the Southern Districts League, I think it was, uh, yep. back in the Amateur League. Found, found the way down to, to Division 4, but um, probably not the year they wanted then, I don't think. They would have moved pretty fast up to the Division, I think, the start in Division 4. So and does then, that mean, sorry Gus, does that mean that they've got it right by putting him in Division 4 as a starting I point? I think that might, it must be, I think, because yeah. there's probably a couple other clubs next year that have to start Division 5, I believe, yeah. next year. So. Is that going to be right? We don't know until next year. Div, so, but, yeah, Div uh, 4, Div 3, I think it is, that they're starting in, the new ones. Well, I've yeah. heard that weren't very happy with Division 4, but it seems like they're on the money. So, mm. uh, yep. anyway, it wasn't to be. So, we've got uh, the goal scorers for Salisbury. There's all individuals. So, there's obviously eight individual goal scorers, which you don't see that very often at all. So, mm. well done to Salisbury. Spread around a bit for the finals. Everstown, obviously, just with the two, Sarah and Blythe. Um, best players for Salisbury, Hull, Kinahan, Horges, Woods and Aiken. And for Edwardstown, Dugan, Curtis, Sarah, Del Canto, Del Cano, and Cornish. So disappointing end to Townies for the first year, but uh, well done to well, give Salisbury their, their dues because it was a very good win there to Salisbury. Yeah, absolutely. Keep their, their finals hopes alive. Now, obviously, to the other, the um, qualifying final, it was a, well, North Haven again have, have faltered at the finals and lost some happy people down there. I did speak to a North Haven, one of the, we had a junior meeting at the club last night and uh, he said they were so disappointed with, with the day. Just nothing went right the whole day. They they start off poorly, as you can see, they didn't even score it. They scored two points after half time and uh, end up with only four goals six. So it was Westminster winners at the end, 9-14-68 to North Haven, 4-6-30. Uh, so I think there'll be some very disappointed people down. Do have the, the double chance, but I think they've got to you know, lift their game when you only score two points up the half time. In finals games, yeah, and it's, I think they've got the talent there in this side. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. as as knowing these guys firsthand, you've got um, you got Dicko, uh, Andrew Dickinson, uh, um, Mark Cocciaro, Pedo. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a few other guys. Haythorpe gets and the best players. Yeah, yeah Haythorpe again, yeah, yep. again. Um, and Mooney, of course. So it's yeah, I'm. Yeah, I, don't, I think Lippo would be scratching his head also. Yeah, absolutely. So he'd probably, um, there'd be some excuses for Lippo, no doubt. No. That's what he does all the time. Anyway, so. but anyway we go to the, um, the goal scorers. Um, Tesporski with four, Fisher with three, Newman and Rushby, just the individuals. Best players are Newman, Mitchell, Reed, Saldis, Steer and Blessing. And for North Haven, they're all individual goal scorers. It was Merritt, Corcoran, Cochia, we just mentioned before, and McCaffrey. Cafferty and uh, as you said Dickinson best player on the ground he's one of the best junior footballers I've seen he's been to Port Districts and been to Portland for a while and now he's finds himself in North Haven hoping for a bit of a grand final series and Haythorpe we mentioned Adams and Cochiara and Mooney but uh, very disappointing North Haven they have got the double chance so hopefully they'll uh, pick up the next week yeah and it's um, uh, again oh, it's still got me shocked I don't know what it was to say so hopefully for them it's not going to be another year like last year uh, Straight sets. Yeah. Last year, they've been um, one of the best, by far the best side of the year. Oh, they've been up, certainly up there, the one or two, but uh, just faltered when you lose by 38 points. You know, it's uh, very disheartening for, for North Haven. You don't want to be another Ramblers. No, exactly. They're two years in a row. Yeah. So, but um, okay, we're going to next week's games. We are. Sorry, a bit of a so, um, first one's up is Eastern Park and Westminster at Dwight tough, Reserve. Tough, at Dwight Reserve, very tough to win out yeah. there. It was Eastern Park; they've been fantastic this year. Obviously, Get they've good got good crowds too. Very good crowds. They're a really tough crowd to play under, especially when you umpire. Umpired there a few times, but uh, but uh, look, I'm definitely going for Eastern Park out there. Very hard to beat. Very good side this year as well. It's not just there um, it's out there, but very good side at the same time. I like Eastern Park too, mate. I think they'll be far too good for Westminster. Um, it's been far too intimidating for them and their little president out there. How are you, sir? You're all right. Um, yeah, so I think Eastern Park for me. Yeah. Next game, it's the uh, second. The first semi is North Haven and Salisbury. Gee oh. whiz, so. Salisbury, great win last week against Edwardstown, of course, North Haven, not a good, well, poor loss, actually, so this is going to be a, well, I reckon North Haven going to come back. It's, it is at large North Reserve, so home ground advantage, it was at their home ground advantage last week too, yeah. but uh, I'm hoping, not a hope, but I think 
North Haven will take on because they've had a great year. You don't want to see him go out straight six. No, nah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go with you again um, on this one. North Haven for me. Um, Lipo would be absolutely fuming. Um, both all, all three Lipos really. Um, so exactly, the old man. The yeah, coach. Tommy, Chris. I mean, yeah, even Alan too. Um, the the weird cat. Love you, Alan. Um, but I, I think it'll be a tough day out. To be honest, um, but I think I, I, I want North Haven to win. I really do. Yeah, um, I totally agree. Uh, great, done it two years in a row, exactly. But yeah. maybe Lippo can say, well, if you win, boys, we'll shave a beard or get off the plong for a couple of weeks or do something. Or they can have their 2014 Premiership shirts remade. <laughs> Good. <laughs> or the 15. 15. And get the white, and get the white uh, texture and just put a, a, a half circle down at the bottom of the five. Save money. Exactly. It's all clubs are all about. Yes. Yeah, so uh, now looking at uh, divisions for reserves this week. Eastern Park took on Hope Valley at Dwight's, and unfortunately the boys going down 7-10-52 to Hope Valley's 8-18, so it could have been a lot worse for, for the, well I was going to say the Demons, they're both the Demons, yeah, um, but um, yeah, well, so it could have been a lot worse for Eastern Park, um, fairly even through that first quarter, uh, Hope Valley kicking away in, in the second, um, third quarter, Eastern Park kicked four points, so that's obviously where it's gone down for them. Um, and then in the last quarter, three goals to one goal one. So it's, again, inaccurate kicking, bad kicking, bad footy. Yeah, um, exactly. Banks with three, Marsden, Keane, Prime and Schumann for Eastern Park. Steen, Keane and Schumann were the better players. And for Hope Valley, Moran, Vozzo kicked a couple each with Slater and a couple other boys getting one. And the better players were Cooney, Wood, Hoffman. Cooney retired today, did I hear that right? Get out of here. Yeah, I thought they were. How old are they now? 30. Um, 30 years old. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, Rosewater's got a club, uh, team called Slum Dogs. And the way Cooney's been playing lately, he'll fit straight in. Um, or, or actually, be, you know, Slum Dogs will probably play a little bit better. Um, they said that uh, Ebert was one of the worst for clangers this year in the AFL. <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd not have another look at it because I think Cooney would be close up there. But um, next game, Salisbury and Paraka at Salisbury Oval. 9 uh, 8 um, the Bulls getting over Salisbury, 4-13-37. So another game where another side's kicked inaccurately. Caruso with a couple with Smythe and Brown. And the best players for Salisbury were Damasi, uh, Clever and Decree. And for Paraka, Nudo, the nudist, kick three. Eagle with a couple, Facey, Trung, Minshaw and Norris. And the best players were Eagle, Travis, Hurst, Trung and Minshaw. So looking at next week, Salisbury get another crack at it against Hope Valley at large, North Reserve. So... It's um, that hopefully that'll get people down there and have both sides playing um, on the same oval. We get a good crowd. So Salisbury and Hope Valley. I think Hope Valley's going to be too strong in this one, Das. Um, and the newcomers, Edwardstown, take on Paraka at home. Um, I've been quite impressed with Edwardstown, as I said, with the roundup side of things. So I think um, Edwardstown will be quite good. Um, and for Paraka, you know, what's, I don't know if you boys will be playing for Division 4 reserves next year, but uh, hopefully uh, you can continue on with your footy and where you are at the moment and uh, yeah, make a note of it. But uh, I think Edwardstown for me in that one, Das. Yep. No, nice work, Trevor. And we just go to the goal scorers. Sean Mansfield, Mansell, sorry, is on the 69, and he's a fair way behind his Colin Matten on 53 from North Haven. And Bradley Woodward on yeah, that's not Woodward on Woodward. 46. Woodward, Eastern Park on 46. Ben Fisher uh, from Westminster on 42, and Brad Horges from Soldier on 42. So that wraps up Division Four, and uh, we'll see you next week. See you later.